y'all doing today? Yeah, I told you I was gonna come to you live from the shop. It's obviously been a long few days, so just saying that, uh, might as well take that off. <laughs> no, just down here, um, just cleaning up, um, doing some stuff. Um, yeah, it's awfully dark in here. I know this is where I should be doing my streaming, but yeah, can't anymore. Well, I have until the end of November to get out, so. But yeah, let me show you guys the shop. No, I don't want to end the stream. I just want to turn the camera. There we go. So that is our messy shop. <laughs> but no shop is complete without actually having a stereo system. You've got to have that stereo system. Oh, yeah. I don't joke around when it comes to my stereo equipment. And I got my tire balancer. Don't worry about the weed eater because a lot of stuff I've just thrown in here in the last couple weeks. Um, got to take care of my oil situation, so I got that. Oh, yeah, if you guys were wondering, here's this on-car brake lathe. There's that on-car brake lathe pro cut. Um, so if you guys want that, well, pretty much you have to come out here and get it. <laughs> but, yeah, my shop is a freaking total mess. Um, yeah. But it's sad to see it go. I mean, I had an alignment rack. Hey, Matt, how you doing, sweetie? Yeah, I'm just showing the shop that I'm going to be uh, leaving, that we're closing up. And I'll show you what has happened. So the Raider Monday night football game, like the last week of September, I get a call from our neighbors, right? And they tell me that water is coming out of my bathroom here at the shop. It's coming out from underneath the door and it's going out into the street. I'm like, all right, well, there's a urinal in there. So I was like, okay, maybe some homeless person jumped in there and shoved something down. Not a big deal. I go in, the handle's all busted up. I was able to fix that real quick, but the water was still kind of coming up from the ground. I'm like, what the fuck? So I was like, you know, from the, the drain. So I was like, all right, cool. And it started lowering down. Well, I never even opened up the shop because this place is old, so the bathroom's on the outside. So I didn't even bother opening up the shop and looking inside. I come in Tuesday, and down here, there, the water level, I shit you not, was about this high. And it was coming out of this drain right here. So called the plumber. I'm trying to make this a long story short, but that never happens. So called the plumber coming out. He's like, okay, well, this isn't a main clean out and I don't have a city clean out on the property out here. It's like, all right, well, that's the uh, landlord's issue. All right, cool. So they're like, well, before we try and dig up everything, let's try and clear what's ever blocking your sewer, right? All right. So they come in here and they take, they first tried just the regular rotor router and it wouldn't go out far enough. So they're like, all right, we're going to have to get this hydro jet thing. I mean, it shoots out, you know, it cleans, it descales, it does, it's like a colon cleanse for pipes, right? So they shove this thing down in here, and it goes out this way. So, again, there's a hose that went underneath here, then came out to about right here, and then went all the way across the parking lot. Went all the way across the parking lot. And, well, now they have put in the new city cleanout, but the hose actually got stuck over there on city property. Now, it would cost the uh, plumbing company $10,000 for getting their equipment stuck. So they had to figure out something and figure it out quick. Well, they actually had to call the city, had the city come out, and then the city was just like, oh, yeah, you guys are fucked. Well... All right, so $8,000 that the landlord had to pay to have them retrieve their shit and then actually go out there, dig out, put in the new city trap. It was going to cost the landlord $8,000. All right, fine. Landlord signs it off, says, all right, cool, we're good. They start digging. Oh, it gets better. It gets better. So not only do I have, like, a hundred feet of hose stuck in my shop for like a week at this point. Oh yeah, no, two weeks at this point. By the time everybody signed papers and they got author to start digging in the alley. And my shop had already, 
now we're moving into week three of it being closed at this point. They start digging out there, right? They're going in like two feet down and, it, and they have to go like freaking three feet down to, to actually where the pipes are. They go down two feet and the ground is getting wet. I mean, they have to wet it a little bit because of the jackhammer, right? So it doesn't overheat and shit. But they're noticing the ground is like really fucking saturated. They're like, what the fuck? And they're only two feet down. They dig a little deeper. They find out from the years of that they have been doing construction in that alley, no one hooked up the rest of the sewer piping correctly. And there was a 10 foot cesspool of shit underneath the alley and underneath part of my property and the property next door. Oh yeah, dude, exactly. So again, at this point, hose still stuck in my fucking shop. Big old gaping hole in the alley. I have to wait another week. Now we're into week four. I have to wait for the city to come out and say, okay, yeah, we fucked up. So cool thing is they covered all the repairs and they are paying me as a shop. Hey gamer, no, not yet, not yet. We don't have a, I don't have a lawyer just yet, but here's the thing. The city is actually reimbursing me up to $25,000 for the shop, okay? But get this, all my licensing and stuff was also due at the same time. Oh yeah, so that $25,000 it didn't isn't going to me. It's going to the fucking shop it, into, you know, cuz I'm incorporated. I it's actually an incorporated business. They're even um, giving the landlord money back pay. So, I'm okay with that. That's cool. So, city finally gets out here last week, um, mid last week, finally finishes the repair. I actually had to call and find out if they did in fact finish. No one called me. So, so finally now the plumbing issue is taken care of. But that's not all. All right, so when I got this place five years ago, I knew half the electrical didn't work, okay? That's cool. And it was mostly just the electrical plugs. I can deal with that. It's an old ass building and I got it for hella cheap for the rent. But, so when the um, used car lot went in next door, they would plug in something into their outlet and it would start popping fuses. You wanna see a clusterfuck of electrical? Look at this shit. Look at this shit, dudes. Look at this electrical clusterfuck. Oh yeah, this box right here is so fucking hot. This one right here. They're like, uh, when they came out last year to do an inspection, they're like, oh yeah, all this has to be replaced. I mean, look at this crap. I mean, look at this shit. And I've had to redo a lot of it. But yeah. Crap, a cola. So that's not all. And then we come into the office. Now I've already had to rearrange the office a couple times. And of course, please do not mind the mess because well, forget, well, I'm out of here. Yeah, and I still gotta return some control arms. Um, this desk used to be positioned more over here you already see that rust right there, right? And you see how clean it is right here and then it's like dirty, dirty, dirty. And then look at this shit. It starts raining inside my shop when it rains outside. And it leaks mostly from up there, but it also leaks there and there and there and goes right on top of my shit. So, anytime it rains, oh dude, electric spaghetti is totally right. Hi, torn by badgers, how you been, baby? So, I can't deal with that anymore, and he's even said, yeah, I'm moving the fuck out. Dude, November, uh, end of November, um, I'm out of here. I'm not paying rent, I didn't pay rent last month. Um, the CDD reimbursed him for that, and you know, of course, when you lease something, you know you pay the first and last month's rent. So, yeah. Um, 
yeah, I, I, I'm fucking done with this place, man. And then, of course, then you have the parts issues. And I want you guys over to talk to Demon Machine and ask him how many issues he has with parts. Because it's fucking insane. The, I mean, I, I can even get parts from the dealership and they come out so fucked up or like bent or a stupid O-ring is missing for an, for an oil filter kit. Oh yeah, guys, if you have like a European vehicle, replace the O-rings on the filter thing, okay? On the actual screw cap. You know, some of them you, they're just like the canister, not uh, the paper element type. There's O-rings, you have to replace those or you're gonna have major issues, guys. Just letting you know, just saying. So yeah. A lot of you guys wanted to see the shop. Um, I have posted videos before, but I figured I'd do it again before my 12 hour marathon or 13 hour marathon. That's right, tomorrow night. Um, Cause it's fall back, you know, uh, daylight savings. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun Saturday. We're gonna have some fun tomorrow night. We're gonna play some GTA. Um, but I'm hoping um, before we do actually leave the shop, I'm gonna be doing some work on my cars. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll show you guys, I actually know what I'm doing. I really do. I mean, I would show you my Wyotech uh, diploma, but then I'd have to cover up my name and stuff and stuff. And I'll somehow dox myself, and I'm pretty sure I've already doxed myself already. I've been trying to be pretty good about that, but eh. Play Pug, what, what is that? P-U-B-G. I, I, I've never figured out what that is. Why? Because I'm dumb. <laughs> Here, let me go get Rocco. Let me go get Rocco real quick. I'll be right back. Hang on. Hey guys, I also want to give a shout out again to Redneck Invasion. Thank you for all the gifted subs last night. Thank you so much. And Alpha um, Prime, thank you again for all the gifted subs the other night. All the all the noises and stuff. It was awesome. Thank you. Yes, I know. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you. Yes, 210. It's outstanding. And next week, I'm going to have, in fact, maybe tomorrow, I might have a special guest tomorrow. Um, she's a singer. Um, she's actually my neighbor. Um, <laughs> she was, uh, dude, she's fucking phenomenal. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna shout out her YouTube channel too this weekend just cause she deserves it guys. She deserves it. The voice of a fucking angel. She's moved down the hall from me, but um, when she lived right next door, you know how the bathroom um, piping sometimes, you know, she would start singing in the shower like Amazing Grace or something. And I'm sitting there going, oh my God, that's so beautiful. <laughs> Dude. Uh, Redneck is epic, dude. He, he's awesome. I mean, I, I've thrown in a couple times on his stream just saying hi and stuff. Um, but him doing that last night, that was, that was very special. Thank you so much. <gasps> oh, yeah, guys! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Dudes! 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 I'm official now. Look, look, look. I got my black card. Boo, yeah! Boo, yeah, guys. Yeah, that one weird girl, boo, yeah. Yeah, I'm not as special as Andazant and didn't get the Andazant or the that one weird girl, but. That is my cash app, peoples. Hey, Electron, no, I, I was showing uh, the shop and the shit I've had to deal with with the shop and why my shop is closing. So that's what we're doing here. Plus that, that card is my Cash App card, Visa Black card. Thank you. Thank you guys, you guys made that possible by the way. But right now I'm getting ready for Rocco and then I'll do another um, tour of the shop. Um, I do guys, by the way, if you guys need some filters and stuff, um, I do have quite a few filters in here I do need to get rid of. I don't know what all I have anymore I'll have to get through that uh, but I got quite a few oil filters and stuff so if you want to just let me know what kind of vehicle you have I'll see what I have in here and send it out to you all I ask is that pretty much you pay for shipping and handling that's all 
or if anything, if I can shove it in one of those $5 boxes from the Postal Service, I'll do it that way. All right, skull guys, dab time. Oh, which reminds me, I need to get a clothes hanger. Hang on, be right back before I forget. Uh, I had to get a clothes hanger to clean out some stuff. So, honestly guys, I don't... I'm having one hell of a time with OBS and trying to get alerts set up and stuff. I mean, I after I ended my stream last night, I stayed up until 2 o'clock trying to get the shit to work. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I just don't. Um, the sound for the computer... Nah, I, I do. I did figure it out. It's the way I do have it hooked up. Um, but if I, uh, it, it's fucked up. So we're gonna have to work with it this weekend. I've been trying to. But what I really need to do is find one of you motherfuckers that know what you're doing. I'm gonna get your info. I'm gonna hold you accountable, and then you're gonna get on my computer remotely and do this shit for me. <laughs> I know, right? He must need something. They always need something. But yeah, and I can even do it as a business to business transfer. Yeah, I'm the the business name is gonna be live and active for about another year, just to make sure shit doesn't get you know. California is also weird about this shit, um, you know, to make sure transactions get done and completed and this and that. Um, but my biggest worry is trying to get rid of all these chemical oils that I have in here. I mean, I I have I have a lot of just. Well, not a lot, but it's still enough to... I, I got a lot of unopened stuff, too. Like, this whole shelf right here is pretty much unopened stuff. And I can't just, like, ship that out, either. Um. Oh. My. God, people. Okay, y y you know... I feel so stupid. I totally fucking forgot. Remember how I've been asking for a helmet? Right, to go to protests and shit? I totally forgot. I bought this for customers years ago. So when they come into the shop, I can't believe I forgot I had this. So now, well, once I get the, I can go to protest. I, I, I'm a fucking idiot, people. I'm a fucking idiot. I forgot I had these until just now when I go in there and I find that. That's fucking hilarious. Now I just gotta figure out how to put this in here. No, I, I feel so stupid now. So, I can take off helmet. Looks like I'm going to protest, people. Oh, I'm sure, um, you know what? I'm actually surprised Sacramento was quiet this last couple nights, but Stockton and Fresno kinda got a little, yeah. Yeah, I know. I was just thinking, dude, you read my mind, Torn. You read my mind. Because I'm like, yeah, I got to put a chin strap on that to keep it on there. Um, yeah, that, that's a very good idea. Yeah, I, I got to figure that out. But now I have this crap. Holy crap. Seriously, I've had those for like two years. Yeah, I know. I have a bike helmet on my uh, wish list, but I gotta. I just gotta go and buy one. But actually, I might just. I got those. Use them. Yeah, I need to just go buy a bike helmet because you know fitting and stuff. That's weird. But yeah, another dab. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of battery. I I started with thirty seven percent. And I have 28, so it's not bad. No, I'm not going to...
protest anything. I filmed the protest. I don't take part in protest. Now, if you guys want to see why I don't get involved in protest, look up uh, sanitizer protest on my YouTube or here in uh, Twitch. Should be in the uploaded section. Uh, part two. Part two, about 10 minutes in, is when it really starts. All because somebody wanted to try and give me sanit hand sanitizer. And I said no. Well, actually, it, but it just goes to show that BLM, Antifa, they don't care. They're just there to fucking cause, at least here in Sacramento, they're just here to cause mayhem and destruction. Straight up. And that is why I do not like Black Zebra. That video, part two, also explains why I do not like Black Zebra. I went up to try and tell him, hey, you know what? I really respect you. Thank you guys for being out here. And then they turned into BLM Antifa. So I have no respect for Black Zebra Productions. And again, it is, you look on their Twitter page, it says Community Production Company. So they're, they don't care. They're just, no. But actually here in Sacramento, the BLM, uh, Black Zebra is part of Antifa BLM. So yeah, that's really the main reason I don't go to this protest here in Sacramento because I have been uh, singled out by them. So yeah, right, exactly. Just saying. Well, no, but like, look up the Twitter, their Twitter page. I, I mean, Black Zebra is not out here for pro, their their production company. They've been hired, okay? They've been hired. That's what I'm saying. They have been hired. Well, and I'm so pissed off. Also, it's like the other night, or it was a couple weeks ago now. Um, Black Zebra was at a protest here in Sacramento and they're on bike security. Why the fuck is Black Zebra Productions part of bike security? No, that, that's an injit, mm mm, mm mm. Lurk, lurk, <laughs> but yeah. So, without further ado, let me show you the rest of the shop, let me. Yeah, right, I'll get ARX. You know what? Okay, I don't really, I don't support her, okay, financially or anything like that, but I do respect her, okay? She follows her views. Um, I would like to meet her. I really would. Um, you know, just talk and stuff. Um, and not so much about the politics and stuff, but, um, you know, I think she would be pretty chill, be pretty chill. So this is my shop, or was my shop. First off, we'll start in the office. Yeah, the office is actually inside the shop. So that was another kind of, I hated that part. Oh yeah, I love this sign. This is my favorite sign. Right? Do you want to talk to the man in charge or the woman who knows what's going on? So yeah, I'll have another monitor. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use that TV as a monitor, taking that home. Um, so here's the first bay again. That's where the hose was stuck, was right there. Um, yeah, and it has a nice tall ceiling. Plus that's the other thing, paint starting to peel, so it needs a nice good coat of paint. And then we have the alignment rack. I'm sorry, the oil pan's in the way. And then obviously my AC machine, which I need to get service. I need to get that guy out here before, before we leave. Um, Oh yeah, anybody need a old ass uh, monitor? <laughs> right, what am I gonna do with that? <sighs> but yeah, I also gotta get rid of all the oil. The shop's a fucking mess, man. I, I mean, the last couple weeks it's just been, I've just been throwing shit around. I didn't give a shit. I was hoping I still had a beer in here. No, but I got the dog food in there. Two things of dog food, which are probably very bad right now. Oh, wait, I do have a cigarette. Yay! That's why I did that. Yes! 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 Booyah. So yeah, that is my shop, or was my shop. So just like how you guys have seen the birth of a stream, you will see the birth of a new shop. You're gonna see this one be put up in boxes into storage, 
And by the end, by the beginning of next year, one, I'm just waiting until after the election, wait to see what happens with the COVID stuff. Um, I just don't think just opening a new business right now is smart. Except, of course, for a stream. <laughs> God, this place, you know what? It's not all that messy. It's just, it needs to be straightened up. But, oh man, look at the trash I got out there. I gotta pick up that trash by the rose bed. It sucks. But yeah, this is my shop. Now, those two are my toolboxes. It has names still on them. I just never took them off. It's like, whatever. Got them for, I got both boxes for like 200 bucks. So, well, actually, technically, it's four boxes. And then my actual lead tech, his boxes. Yeah, notice the difference? <laughs> Mine, his. <laughs> Mine, his. <laughs> Hey, Savage. Oh, anybody want an um, old Sears record player? I mean, you could actually turn this thing into a bitchin' thing. I mean, all the, the only thing it needs is an electrical plug and, of course, a needle and the rubber band for the... Uh, but, yeah, I even have the original... What is that? Contains plugs for connecting tape recorder to this unit. See owner's manual for your instructions. Yeah. I even have the manual everything but it does need a um electrical plug and of course to get the record so if you guys want that do i ship to england well dude i don't know how much that's gonna be and you're paying for that shipping <laughs> maybe cctv user could want it Well, I will ship anywhere. It's just I'm not paying for that shipping. <laughs> Actually, something like that, dude, that would be expensive to ship. Dude, it's vintage. We're talking 1968. That thing's old as fuck, okay? So you would actually have to upgrade it, you know, with the electrical, change the plug on it, which is fine because somebody just cut the plug on the back of it when my aunts did. Now, that thing has been in the family for, well, since the 60s. Yeah, if I ship that thing, that thing, oh my God, that would cost a fortune. Oh wait, I wanted to take something home. Obviously, I kind of use my shop as my storage bags too. What do I have in here? Oh yeah, my little Raider, my Raider stripper outfit. I love this thing. It's a little hoodie, a little sexy hoodie. I need to take that home. Well, I need to take all these home. Oh yeah, there's the shorts to them. Little cute little booty shorts. Oops, sorry, I wasn't showing you guys. Cute little booty shorts, little hoodie. You want me to put it on? All right, I'll put it on. Hang on. I'm gonna put it over my clothes, sorry, because I'm not gonna be like that person. But I'll show you what it kind of looks like. Oh, wait, crap, I can't do it over this. Hang on. That way you guys can kind of see what it looks like. But of course, this was my stri one of my favorite stripper dr outfits. Has a little hoodie. You know, of course, you wear a little black bra underneath it. You don't have to. But this was also made specially for me to fit me. And of course, I was about 10 pounds lighter when I was dancing, so this button's a little tight. But yeah, that's how it looked. Obviously, it didn't have the shirt on underneath it. But, so it'd be... It would look something like that. And then I'd have the hoodie up and over like that, coming out. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was one of my favorite stripper outfits. I got some skirts in there, um, jackets. I got a lot of stuff in there I just need to take home. 
Well, living in a studio and then having a shop, you know, I use, yeah, I use the shop pretty much as my storage. Oh, and if anybody of you has a Honda Element, I have running boards. I'll fucking give them to you. Just get your ass down here to Sacramento and I'll give you running boards for your Honda Element. I think it's like a 2005 Honda Element. You got blue hair now? Oh yeah, that's right, you were dyeing your hair. I forgot about that. Yeah, uh, there's a fucked up fender from the Mercedes out there. But yeah, there's, there's the running boards. I even have the hardware kit too, so. Yeah, if you want free running boards, come and get them. So can I call you Smurf, Savage? Are you a Smurf? I'll call you a Smurf. So yeah, that's the shop, guys. But I'll have my uh, I'll have my Jeep in here, do some oil changes. Yep, I got the booty shorts too to match. I'll have to do a special stream for you guys on that one. I'm not gonna wear that tomorrow. Tomorrow, I don't know if I'm gonna do, I'll, I'll do my mohawk, but I'm gonna have to like, well the thing is, is that I can't um, have a mohawk that stands this tall and have my head set on, so I didn't really think that part through, but I will do the mohawk for you guys. Don't you guys worry. So yeah, this is my shop. The ceiling of it anyway that you can see. A little bit over there. I'm gonna miss my rose bushes though. It's nice having rose bushes. No way. You're a smurf. No, dude, your charger, that would be fucking outstanding. Yeah, where am I gonna put them though, man? You should see these things, man. Look at these. Here, I'll show you my rose bushes. Oh, they came with the shop, but, and I gotta clean up some trash. I'll do that. But yeah, look at these suckers, man. Look at those, aren't those pretty? They smell good too. Oh my God, they smell so good. And then I got more over here. Yeah, look at these. Look at the red color on them. Then we got the pink ones. I like the pink ones too. They're huge. Oh dude, look at the praying mantis. Look at him. He's a big one. Can you wave? Yeah, aren't they huge? Hey, executive. <laughs> 6.2 seconds. Dude, look at the size of that mantis. Hi. Hi. Can you give me a high five? I wonder if he's sleeping. probably how it sounds or is it more of a Bwah! that's a big ass mantis though I am freaking out over him hi dude how you doing you just chilling chilling like a villain it's pregnant oh is that why it's so fat or I mean so is it like spiders typically if it's bigger it's a female Well, yeah, I'm looking at the belly, and that is huge, so she might be asleep or something? I don't know. Or she's just sunbathing, but damn, she's fucking huge! Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Sucker is huge, man! Maybe that's what she's doing. She's about ready to give birth. And that's why she's just kind of frozen there. I don't know, I'm not an entomologist, so I don't know. You have snow, Eddie? Oh my God. Dude, I would actually kill for some snow or even some rain, man. It, yesterday the air was so still, 
but it wasn't hot and nasty. Yeah, so we're thinking, Electron, that it was a, it's pregnant, that it's a female, so. Oh wait, wrong button, sorry. <laughs> yeah, right? Fucker was huge. But man, I gotta, God, this shop is a fucking disaster. Oh yeah, there's my uh, Webby Q. I was gonna do steaks tomorrow, but I'm gonna stick with my chicken thing. Oh yeah, and there's a amp, or a, a, what is it? Oh yeah, that thing. Oh yeah, I get most random shit from people. It needs a bunch of tubes, obviously. It needs all the tubes. I think it's like from the 90s, this box. Oh God, it's heavier than shit though. Yeah, you can't really see back in there. It has all the knobs and shit. Yeah, I got a bunch of shit I just need to get rid of. <clears throat> oh yeah, I also got this too. Yeah, baby. I need to get a new uh, glow plug for it, but it does work. I've, I haven't started that sucker in, well, about five years. Probably need to rebuild the engine. But that's a fun little thing. Got it for 50 bucks, used. Yeah, I got a digital stereo. You wanna see how old my digital stereo is? Oh, for a Dodge Charger? No, I don't, oh, actually. Hey, let's see. I do have one that I was gonna put in my Jeep. Where'd it go? Oh, wait. Yeah, there it is. That Pioneer. Got that Pioneer. It's a couple years old. God damn, all the old weed jars and shit. <laughs> what else do I have in here? What's all in here? Oh, those clips. A regulator. Uh, this would be a, a, a switch for uh, a Ben's um, tail lamp assembly. And what else do we have? Oh, another one. Bunch of old sockets. HID bulb that went poof. And no, that regulator is actually a foobard. And then I have a actuator. Obviously for a Volkswagen. I think that is a, a door lock actuator, I think. I have a bunch of clips. You can never have too many clips. Window guides. Dude, I tell you, I have a lot. Oh, and then here's my electrical repair kit. Oops, oops. You guys didn't see that? Modulator for a camshaft. No. Do not. And yet, oh, there's some glow plugs. I hate working on the variable valve, variable valve timing. I hate that shit. Bunch of other little odds and ends. This shit, great for when you break uh, plastics and shit. <laughs> Gotta put together a, oh, there's a LED panel. I got a bunch of just crap. I mean, also I have an engine harness for a Honda Prelude, 99 Honda Prelude that I've been robbing uh, connectors and shit off of. <laughs> We're not talking about. Oh God, ow. And then I have a whole, like, all these boxes right here are nothing but Mercedes-Benz technical training equipment, uh, technical training information. So, like this one is nothing but on the 642 diesel. Oh, 100 grand to fix? Jesus Christ, dude. Ouch. Well, yeah, on that one, yeah. Oh, yeah, model year 2003. Whole box just of that information. So yeah, if you have a Mercedes Benz and you want to know how to work on it, yeah, all these magazines, all these binders, all these boxes have nothing but that shit in it. Well, those manuals I actually got from training. Um, in fact, I am technically supposed to be returning those if I have no more use for them, but I think I have lapsed over the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the... Um, Copyright time, because it like even says in the first page, 
like, yeah, Mercedes-Benz Educational West Center Technical Training. Oh, my God, dude. Ouch. Well, yeah, and then, obviously, yeah. And then I have my punching bag, my UFC punching bag. Haven't really used it a whole lot, but I got my uh, gloves down there in the bottom in the bag, so. I'll take it, dude. I'll, I'll, you know what? I will find a hundred grand. You know what? Let's start it right now. We're going to start a campaign. We're going to fix the car. <laughs> Anybody want to donate a hundred thousand dollars? Yeah, my tool carts. Again, his fancy schmancy tool cart. I, yeah, okay, well, no. Well, I was just saying, uh, <laughs> I owe you for 100K dough now, right? Yeah, that's his toolbox, so a little bit nicer than mine. Obviously old school. Um, and it was just me and him, so we ran this shop like your, like your quintessential, like, mom and pop shop. So, oh, I need to get rid of that fan. That goes in the trash. <laughs> that'll work that'll work so yeah guys this is my shot rest in peace dude to buy a Shelby hell yeah I'd love to have a Shelby Cobra but man the maintenance on that fuck well if you can afford a Shelby Cobra you should be able to afford the maintenance on it just saying Mm, cool, cool. Hey, look, the exit's right there. <laughs> uh, well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just end the stream for right now because I do got to do some more running around today, get some stuff for tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, I told you guys I was going to be here. I wanted to show you guys my shop, what I had to deal with. Let's just say you are one for cash. I could use some. <laughs> or are you going to save it for tomorrow? Is that it? <laughs> hey, and thank you for the link, by the way. Dude, I love the kit cars, dude. Kit cars are awesome. But what I'd like to do is a uh, multimillionaire on GTA. <laughs> on GTA, you're a multimillionaire. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much over it, to be honest. I mean, I've been doing this for over 20 years. At, I'm 37, so do the math. Um, I've been doing this for 20 years, working in shops and stuff, and I kind of need a break. Um, but I'm going to throw in my, um, my application to the dispensary down the street, so... <laughs> Oh, freaking A. That's awesome, dude. Dude, apples. Ooh. Actually, you know what sounds good? Or oatmeal cookies with dehydrated apples in them. Sounds good. Wait, I can't see like all my chat. Half my chat disappeared. It's like all weird and shit. Here, hang on. I'm going to turn you guys sideways for a second. See if that didn't work. Wait, let's see if this works. Hang on. If I lose you guys, I'm sorry, but I was going to end the stream anyway, but if I lose you guys, I love you. Yeah, because I have 15% life left. I got to turn my phone. Yeah, I can't see half of the... Okay, I'll go to Discord after. 42 shares in it? Holy crap. Why did my chat go? I hate this. Oh, there it goes. No, wait, what'd I do? What'd I do? What'd I do? No, see, it's still fucked up. I can't see, I, I only see like half of what you guys are saying. Something I'll, something my hair. Oh, take a pic of your hair, I'm assuming you said? Like, I can't see what it says. Something is worth 50 grand, do the math. 
Yeah, I can't see it, but I'll go to Discord after. I, I kind of figured that's what that says. You're just a, I can't see what that says either, Eddie. I guess I have to rewatch this last three minutes of it, see what you guys said. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and take off. Um, I probably will be back tonight. Yo, gambler, you're late, because I'm already ending. <laughs> And again, I can't see what half you guys are saying. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll probably be back tonight, um, but I'm gonna try and get some sleep because tomorrow we're gonna start our marathon stream. So, guys, get your friends over here, get them to follow. Um, again, I'm sorry if the announcements aren't working. I don't know why, unless I'm being shadow banned. Oh yeah, and apparently I got partially blocked last night for the music I was playing last night. So, who was that? Who was that that kept wanting me to play that stupid song? I think I got in trouble for it. Or it's when I was playing one of the the dancing footloose. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys later. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do a quick stream tonight. We'll see. I love you guys. Mwah. Take care. And um, yeah, if anything, I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? All right.